The most overlooked part of gardening is good soil health. Your plants can only ever be as good above the ground as from what they are under the ground. The good thing about improving soil though, it's easy to do using the rich grow effect. If you have sandy soil, you want to add organic matter to it in the form of compost. This helps bind it together, which in turn helps the soil hold on to nutrients and water. If your soil is really sandy like this, you should try some rich grow sand to soil. This really helps to retain moisture and when mixed in with a bit of compost, it's going to turn sand into rich garden soil. One problem that can be seen in really dry soils is a phenomenon known as hydrophobia. This is where the soil literally cannot absorb water due to the bacteria buildup that coats each particle. I don't have it at my place because I regularly use a soil wetter. It's a really simple spray on application that lasts for up to eight weeks. And what this does is it lets the water penetrate the soil right down to the roots. If you have a heavy clay soil, again, adding organic matter in the form of compost will encourage worms into the soil to help free it up. Organic matter and compost is great for all different types of soil, including clay and heavy soils. However, you want to be using a little bit less so the soil doesn't get soggy. If healthy soil is like having a balanced diet, then fertilizing is the finishing touches, something like a protein shake or vitamins. Giving your plants the nutrients they need through fertilizing to help them to excel and help you to grow you good things. Rich growing.